Tigers have is home runs. All the Indians have is singles. But it's Cleveland three, Detroit two. Well, Travis, you saw the graphic there, hitting 300 over his last nine games. And this is a split finger pitch. Travis keeps his hands back. When you face a veteran like Travis Fryman, watch him how he just keeps his hand back. He sees it, regroups, and hits the ball sharply. The Indians up three to two. Now, Fryman, you'll remember, came up as a shortstop with the Tigers. It wasn't necessarily a heavy hitting shortstop when he first came up. No, nope, he was a young, strong armed kid. Awesome arm, had a rocket. It's a very hard worker, a guy who's really built himself and worked hard to make himself a very good fielder and a very good and pretty consistent hitter. Well, his minor league high for home runs in a season was 10. Willie Blair back in the Tiger bullpen. But pretty steadily. Excuse me, pretty steadily with the uh, with the Tigers. He was good for what, 20, 25 yeah, he's a year? He's a 20 home run guy. Takes down and in, two and one. Well, when Travis first came up, could not throw a fastball hard enough or by him. Hmm. Now he's got a little craftier, much better off-speed hitter. And he can still handle himself on the fastball. Well, now he works himself to a count where he's likely to see a fastball. It's three and one. Already two on. Richie Sexton waits on deck. See what Brad puts down there. I believe that's a fastball. Flack to center. And Carnes Young back. Gone. Again, it comes down to putting yourself in that position. You go to three and one on a guy like Fryman, who, who's you're, been hot. You're inviting it. Well, and he comes right down the middle with it. That's uh, about the only place he can aim it and get it over. And Travis Fryman, boy, really lets it go. Six home run of the season for Travis. That gives him 27 RBIs on the season. Four of them tonight. Nomo's done. The Tigers had a 2-0 lead. Cleveland now up 7-2. We'll come back, tell you about the new Tiger pitcher in just a moment. Job right here of screening Travis. Watch, watch him. He goes right in front of him right there. Kind of screens him, and Travis can't get a hold of that wet ball. His experience says eat it. The Tigers first and third, a couple down, and leaves it up to Brad. He's bunting, and it's foul. Now, Fryman, having just made that play, is that Phil Garner or Brad Ausmus trying to get back into the mind of Travis? Well, I think that's Brad Ausmus. He looked down there at third base and realized Travis Fryman played very deep at third. All he has to do is get it down. It's a freebie. Gives you a run. See how deep Travis is there. It looks like he's moved in a step or two. Home run mania indeed. They're flying out at a record pace. Another topic you guys addressed on the locker room, I noticed. Well, Gary says he likes him. I like him in moderation. I mean, I love Italian food, but I, I mean, I couldn't eat it 14 meals a week, you know? And I think that's where a lot of people are with the home runs. I just like it to be fair. Of course, it's easy to say for me now that I'm not a hitter anymore. Well, there goes Fryman again. His third hit. And he's going for two. The throw ends up at Greg Jeffries and back at first base. Becker airmailing it in. Fryman now, a triple shy of the cycle. And we're just in the fifth inning.
Well, Travis, again, he's staying back. You throw him something off speed, he's just crushing. Stays right on this ball, and Rich Becker, I think he gets a wet ball right here and airmails it. Good job by Greg Jeffries. Backing up the play. The pitch track and the three hits. There's his first hit right there. Second hit and third hit. Now, if you match that up with the scouting report on him, you would say that we haven't pitched him too well tonight. So, Tig's only down by two going into the bottom of the seventh. And a chance to do a better job, keep Travis off the base, and get back in there and try and tie this game up. Keep it out of that Paul Lind center square. Because you're right, all three hits right there for him. And those are on breaking pitches. And uh, again, uh, Travis, very good hitter, staying back well. You can tell he's locked in. Little check swing roller to first. And the last Tiger to hit for the cycle remains a triple shy of the cycle tonight for Cleveland. Well, Travis Fryman, a triple away from the cycle. Singled in a run in the first, three run jack in the third, doubled and scored in the fifth, and bounced out in the seventh. Look at that. Travis Fryman steadily, as always. He's at 299 for the average. Strike one. strike and the Tigers can get on to the ninth. It'll be Jeffries, Macias, and Cruz, 7-8-9 due to set it up for the top of the order. Just off the plate inside, one and two. The rain has been at varying degrees tonight. Started with a light drizzle. We've seen it actually open up and pour for a couple of innings. Looks like it's pretty much light again. Light Field still in good shape. Downstairs two and two. How tough is it, Gibby, as an outfielder when it's been raining for three and a half hours to, to keep your concentration out there? Well, you're going to have wet, very wet feet, which is uncomfortable. Your feet may slide around a little bit in your shoes. You could choose to go in and ruin another pair of shoes. <laughs> but uh, the glove gets wet. And uh, obviously the ball, any ground ball, picks up a lot of water out of that grass. Got to make sure you get a good seam and try not to overthrow it. Patterson just missing, runs a count full. First base open, remember, there's Ramirez at third. Jim Tomey behind him at second, a run already in in the Cleveland eighth inning. Second and third. Can the Tigers answer again? The Indians scored in the third. Tigers answered in the fourth. Fifth answering in the sixth. Seventh answering in the eighth. Can they answer the eighth in the ninth? And it's fouled out of play by Fryman. Struck left center. Uh -oh. Higginson back looking. Gone. Fryman does it again. Well, if you're watching.
watching the game last night, we talked about where not to throw Travis Fryman. And anything down the middle heart of the plate is very dangerous to Travis. He's locked in right now. And this ball right here, look at the location. Right down the heart of the plate, out over, you see full extension. And he drills it. We got a 1-1 one -one tie. It's a precise part of the plate. So each team has led off the second with a solo home run. Gonzalez his seventh, Fryman his seventh. Richie Sexton takes outside. Boy, Travis, take it easy on the Tigers, will you? Too high to... But this ball is not going to get out. Juan Gonzalez right there in right field to take care of it. And that will be that in the Cleveland fifth inning. 4-1 Indians, and now the Tigers get ready for the sixth. Inside, which is where they have not been pitching him in this series. Well, that ball gets away from Mark Johnson a little bit. <laughs> Try and get that pitch in there on the plate. Changed up and went inside. It's 2-0. and well, This is where that intentional walk backfires. Getting behind in the count to a hot hitter. You're telling a young pitcher, we have confidence in you to throw strikes. We're putting you in a position where you have no margin for error. To left field. Off the end. And Higginson is there. Mark Johnson does the job. Cleveland with a three-run inning. Mark Johnson gets the Tigers out of it. We're at the end of six to Jacobs in this game. Janet Kowski, and we talked about it, hasn't been striking out a lot of people at all the last couple of weeks. But here to set the tone tonight in the very first inning, he lets the Indians strand a couple. Punching out Fryman, there's no score. Had a heck of a time against C.J with a home run in the uh, the game six days ago in Cleveland. And in fact in that series Travis five out of nine with a couple of home runs. But you have CJ tonight struck him out to end the first inning. And just to update the stat Gibby and again Dan Wortham reminds us it really shouldn't mean that much. But it's just a two of the last 62 batters that CJ has faced have struck out. Travis Fryman and Scott Brocious. Jason Maxwell of Minnesota, the last before that. So he has struck out the last three third basemen that he's faced going back three games, but uh, nobody else besides that. Another foul by Travis Fryman. But as C.J. Nitkowski matures, that really is, I think, part of that maturing process. I mean, here's a guy that, that blew everybody away in Little League, high school, college. And, and you can maybe get a, a little drunk on that kind of power. Hey, I'm, I'm a strikeout guy. That's what I do. Dan Wortham says you don't have to be. You got good sinking stuff. Let him put the ball in play right on the ground. Oh, call that pitch. C.J. wanted it. You saw CJ's reaction. He wasn't pleased. Well, Rich Becker got called out on the pitch marginally. I think CJ wants this. The look inside. You see Travis looking out over the plate belt. Now can CJ shake off the disappointment? That's the question on three and two. One of these self criticisms. CJ puts on himself as he knows sometimes when things don't go his way he kind of obsesses about that moment and you got to put that moment right behind you immediately. Another foul ball from Travis. See Travis 
looking out over the plate. Those balls are not inside. And he's pulling them foul. Like to see CJ give him a nice heater on the inside part of the plate. Well, he did that a couple pitches ago for what he thought was strike three. It ended up being ball three instead. Lost him. And the bases are loaded with nobody out. Jim Tomey coming up. Strike one to him. Again, Nitkowski cannot get the win in this one. Having pitched four and a third. Check swing foul 0 and 2. Now remember last inning it was the bases loaded nobody out for Cleveland. They ended up with just one run out of it. Bases loaded now. In the fifth inning. One run out of it so far. Blair trying to make sure it stays right there. Did quite a number on the Tigers back in Cleveland last week. And he is, by the way, four for seven lifetime against Willie Blair. In the air, right center, Gonzalez is after it. And he's got it. Strikes out Ramirez and retires Freiman. Still 3-2 to Troy. Cooler stud out of college that, that becomes obvious whether you're picking number one or number five or number ten. It's really a, for the first time in a while just a complete mixed bag with what will be available in a couple of weeks. To short for Davy Cruz. And that'll do it. We reach the seventh inning. Strike from Weaver to Fryman. On 0 and 2, cut off by Macias. Jeffrey's off the bag though, and Travis Fryman is safe. It'll go as an infield base hit. But again, Macias making a nice play just to get there. It was a good play, ranging far to his right. You see, he's going away, and this is a tough throw. He tries to set up and make a good, strong throw, and it pulls Greg just off the bat. It's when you wish you were 6 7 again. Oh, just off. So now a runner on and the tying man to the plate that's Einar Diaz who was hit by a Weaver pitch. Back in the second inning. Each team has seen a hit batsman in this game. Dean Palmer took one on the elbow in the first inning. Diaz getting his on the derriere. Diaz walking away did not look at Weaver. Remember this is a guy that charged Pedro. Well and the scouting report is to throw him inside obviously. You know what happened against Pedro. You throw it out over the plate. Einar Diaz very productive. And that ball just got away from Jeff Weaver. And I 
actually just to uh, to make sure I've got it right Gibby the, the, the charging was Roberto Alomar that was the the actual time that somebody literally went to the mound Diaz hit by Pedro that precipitated that first go around in the game a couple weeks ago that ball's going to head in the right a base hit for Diaz so it's two on one out and coming back to the top of the order now. Remember Diaz in kind of a stare down with Pedro Martinez. That's what set up all the, the bad vibes between those two teams. And we've chronicled the bad vibes between the, the Indians and the Tigers going back to last year. That pitch up on out over the plate. De now Fryman slaps it in the left. That's going to drop, and Higginson's got to hustle after it. Fryman. Uh, he ain't well, going on Higgy. No, he knows Higgy too well. Bobby getting right down there. Well, Travis hits this ball right off the end of the bat. He's thinking too. Higgy's thinking try. Pretty accurate arm. Bobby had a good reputation around the league. Travis off the bench for two hits tonight. Both of the starting third basemen are out of the game. Enrique Wilson with a, a strain to hamstring. Tigers Dean Palmer hit on the elbow with a pitch. We talked about that and again you wonder if you know it's. Reared back pumped it in at 97 but he missed. Well as you come back with some more cheese. Should we eavesdrop. Yeah let's go in there. A little voyeurism here. Splitter, isn't it? Looks to be. Oh, well, that was that was that was a fastball. Yeah, that was that was straight on cheese right there. First time we've gotten into his glove and saw that fastball grip. Anderson on a relief of McDill, who followed Patterson, who followed Jeff Weaver. Weaver making his shortest outing of the year tonight, four innings through 99 pitches. Two. Yeah, at, at 100 miles an hour, it crossed at the shins for strike three. Boy, that's some low gas right there. Take a look right here, just above the kneecaps. See, Travis doesn't really necessarily agree. Good frame job by Brad. You see him pull that glove up was that slow motion we just looked at I mean it still looked reasonably live right there <laughs> he's here with one swing just is out but speaking of a guy with well we'll see Fryman what's the politeness of the fans though here in Cleveland they let Travis go ahead and get the ball watch this guy nice job trap nice job man excellent <laughs> that's why the Indians win at home that's correct now two balls no strikes Nice honor for the little guy way out there in center field. That's ball misses low and away ball three. I'm sure Nardi Contreras reminded Jesus Pena what the score is. This team up by seven. Not a time to. Five men on base in that first inning. Tiger Travis Fryman takes strike one. And yes, a 526 hitter against the Tigers this year. 10 out of 19. Travis having a very good year. 38 RBIs for the tribe. Also, Travis, maybe Viscal wearing off on him. Travis has had a 48 game airless streak. That's a career high. A good catch. See you working, cowboy. You know what? Use the glove or the hat. Yep. That's a right pretty catch, I reckon. <laughs> Moeller in with a 1-2 now to Fryman. And he slugs it to left field. Travis 
Freiman to his old team again. run against Tiger pitching this year. Number 14 overall for Travis. One to nothing Cleveland. How about that? A guy wearing a Travis Fryman t-shirt caught Travis Fryman's home run. Travis likes the ball middle in. This ball middle in and uh, Trapper doesn't miss it. So he keeps those arms in tight. Now, I'm serious. What are the odds that a guy wearing Travis's T-shirt would catch a Travis home run ball? And especially without looking. Kind of turned his head a little bit right there. Oh, I used to catch. If I were that guy, I'd go looking for winning lottery tickets in the gutter at home. As soon as I get home. Go out on the street, see if you can find some wallets. That, that's unbelievable. Hurry up and put on a Tony Clark jersey. <laughs> Maybe we should run one out there. <laughs> Russ Brandon takes side. It's one and one. It's Ryman. That's fifty-two thousand dollars. Ching ching. Yep, for the uh, the cap cure home run challenge. 